CRISPR offers the ability to make a more precise change to genome. Scientists start to think about the, the issues of legal, ethic, and social implications of this technology. Those kind of practices we have seen before. In the 1970s, recombination DNA technology made some scientists feel the necessity to regulate the technology out of concern of the technology might be misused for unintended, undesirable, or even unsafe purposes. Chinese scientists are pioneers in the using of CRISPR to humans. In April, 2015, uh, a group of scientists at uh, Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou uh, published a paper reporting uh, the findings of using CRISPR to alter the DNA of uh, non-viable embryos. These scientists actually collect 86 defected uh, human embryos and managed to have the 71 actually uh, can be used for their experiment. Unfortunately, only a very small percentage of those kind of human embryos successfully being edited. In the process, scientists also find the procedure sometimes went off target by inserting the new gene in the wrong places so as to lead to new diseases instead of curing an old one. The leading scientist of the research, Wang Qingzhou, said, if we really want to do those sort of things in normal embryos, you need to be uh, close to 100%. This explains why they stopped their research. These scientists also defended their research by indicating their research had been working on human embryos, which were not growing in China's community of medical ethics. Also, I think this kind of research is acceptable ethically because it is not aimed for the purpose of reproduction. In another research, uh, which will have the potential to revolutionize the war on HIV AIDS, uh, Chinese scientists also used the same technology to try to change the mutation in the embryo. These scientists used CRISPR to replace the CCR5 gene 26 embryos with an HIV resistant mutation, but only four embryos were successfully edited uh, with the other 27 failing to produce desired results. Again, these leading scientists of the research also indicate that his research uh, has gone through ethical review at his university. Although currently China does not have a government agency which accepts and evaluates the applications of this kind of research. In light of all this development and some others, in December 2015, uh, an international summit on human gene editing took place in Washington DC where members of the National Academies of American, Britain, and China, representative of more than 20 countries, discussed the ethics of gene editing. Scientists agreed on uh, have some sort of a global uh, ban, at least temporary, uh, before they can discuss all the implications of those kind of research, uh, before uh, the, the government and the scientific community reach some sort of consensus. So she, who is on the uh, organizing body of the International Summit, he said basically the gene editing research and application in China is still primarily a very primitive and chaotic. Although China has uh, narrowed the gap with developed countries in terms of uh, life science research, but the laws and the regulations governing scientific research in gene editing and applications still need some improvement. Gene editing repairs gene defects, uh, prevents genetic diseases, and uh, improves economic characteristics of various kind of organisms. But the scientific community also uh, concerned about the importance of responsible research and innovation. In this particular regard, which requires the scientific community scientists to take into consideration the ethical, legal, and social implications of the technology, as well as also requires uh, engaging a large uh, body of stakeholders to meet the common uh, goals of not only the scientists, but also the other various kind of stakeholders. Thank you very much.